All right, we are out here looking for our last, Jess's last two clams. We'll try to find a good example of what to look for. What we should be looking for is divots, holes, or donut shapes. And you can kind of coax them by touching the ground around them. And they'll suck in out of reflex because they, they want to dig away from the danger. I always had good luck when I started walking this way. Oh, right here, Jess. This one's active right now. <laughs> Get it. Yeah, see it bump up. Quick, quick, dig. See the clam gun, wiggle it down on there. We're gonna see Jess get, it, get her 14th clam here, right? Yeah. And now, you always wanna look around near where you're digging. Sometimes you can uncover other ones. Get it? Dig deeper. Find it? Good. Sometimes you gotta reach in there, pull them out of their, of their little homes. <laughs> it's digging. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, one more. So I did, there's that one right there. So there's another one where it just turns into a hole. And that's a good one too. Jess, go for it. So only the person with uh, who needs the claim can dig. You can't dig other people's limits. But yeah, we can hunt. <laughs> we can hunt together. This would be another good one. Oh, right there. Grab it. <laughs> Perfect. Done. 15. Boom. Just in case. We are out here on day number two, going for razor clams. We were a little bit late last time. And now we're hoping to be on time. So let's get to it. Still got a couple hours of daylight, I think. We didn't walk that far. Here. I don't know. You go for it, I'm going further. I don't trust it. Get a good one? See what Jess finds. Yep, right there. Boom! On the board. Show it to the camera. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Looks like a bigger one, too. On the board. Oh yeah. Just, oh yeah, that's a good one. So this guy, look at that, yeah, right there. Ugh. Right there. He's a good, better one, for sure. Oh, there's one right next to you. Get it. That one was just really shallow. I got him in one. <sighs> Nothing?
Huh, that sucks. I didn't get that one. No. There's one, I think. Oh yeah. So sometimes if you stomp, you'll scare them a little bit. Spit a little water. Whew, look at that. First try, he was really close to the top. Oh, he's right there, see, he's spitting. Well, get him, just go down quick. Careful. Where? Right there. There we go. I'm look more. You can tuck it out. You dig too fast. All right, here's one, Jess. Is it a sandworm? That's a sandworm. Yeah, right there, boom. Here, find a good one for you. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, I see, oh, I see two. Yep. The other ones look like donuts, like this. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Nope, he's deeper. Oh, there he is. Boom. Five. So Jess is preparing the clams by chopping them into tiny clam chowder sized bits with very fresh razor clams. Next step in this clam chowder process, Jess has pre-chopped the vegetables that are going into our delicious chowder. Can you give those a little show off here? What's it called? Mirepoix. Mirepoix is what this mix is called. There's thyme. Well, Th mirepoix is uh, your aromatics. And uh, mirepoix. a mix of celery, carrots, onions, and I've added leeks and some fresh thyme because that's how I like my clam chowder. And this isn't really following any recipes. This is just how I like it. Jess is a I chef, so she doesn't need to follow much. exact recipes. But yep, the next step, we're gonna cook these up till they get nice and translucent. Let the flavors get, get to know each other. And then we'll add some cream, some other good things, and then clams, which are all chopped now. All right, next step, add to the mix a good healthy portion of clam juice. Mm. Yes, yeah, so you put these in a bowl once you're done cleaning them and they'll kind of seep out juices on their own and you can dump that in as well so you get your fresh clam juice in there. But failing that, there is clam juice you can buy at the store. We want it to be as clammy as possible. Now we let it simmer and next stop. What's the next stop? Next part, I'm gonna melt a good amount of butter. I'm eyeballing all of this and just kind of winging it as I go. And also to note, this is going to be like a lower carb clam chowder, yeah. so there's not going to be a traditional roux involved, nope. but it should turn out delicious.
So, after today's excellent clamming trip, I think we are out on the water clamming for a grand total of 40 minutes with our limits with some good sized clams, cleaning them, and then just cooking them in this delicious chowder we finally get to eat. All in all, I think the clams have been out of the ocean for less than two hours. So this is gonna be an incredibly fresh chowder. It doesn't get much more fresh and it's hot. So I'm gonna set the and okay. Oh wow, that turned out really good. Heck, really good. It's very clammy. And the clams are actually really soft. Well guys, I'm gonna finish this, but that was a successful day two of our ocean adventure. Delicious razor clam chowder. All right, you guys, I'm digging in.